What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ T Stump, and I think we all saw the unfortunate news today. We all saw that rich homie Quan unfortunately passed away, right? We all saw the posts on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever you browse, and I think we could all agree hip-hop took a major loss today, right? And when I say this, I really mean it, and I know this word is thrown around a lot, but rich homie Quan was truly the definition of a legend. I know that word is thrown around a lot, but Rich Homie Kwan really was a legend. You know, as I browse through the posts, I read the comments, things like that. Of course, everybody's showing their respects. Everybody says rest in peace, but I realized something, right? A lot of people who are a bit younger, you know, maybe you're still a teenager. You might not be able to fully remember just how big Rich Homie Kwan was. And I think a lot of people kind of have re revisionist history about how important Rich Homie Kwan was. And I don't think people give Rich Homie the Kwan the credit dessert he deserves, man. Rich Homie Kwan was a very big artist, right? You got to remember that Rich Homie Kwan, he came up in 2013. Now, prior to that, Atlanta had seen a lot of success, of course, right? Of course, you go back, you got, you know, the outcast. Um, then you had the mid 2000s trap wave. Of course, you had, you know, T.I., Gucci Mane, Jeezy, et cetera, right? Ludacris. And then they had that early 2010s kind of mixtape trap wave. You know, you had people like Waka, OJ, Young Scooter, a couple other people I'm sure I'm missing, but that's besides the point. And then we had the new era that I think is, even to this day, the modern wave of Atlanta domination. You know, Rich Homie Kwan was the beginning of that era of, of course, Young Thug, the Migos, uh, um, Rich the Kid, Future, I'll even say Gucci Mane Post Prison because I see that as a different artist, right? Rich Homie Kwan was a part of that era. He was one of the first of that era, right? And, you know, one thing that I think is very obvious a lot of people don't give Rich Homie Kwan credit for was he made music that was swaggy, but it wasn't gangsta. He didn't really use the violence card to sell, right? We all know that sex, money, drugs, violence, these things sell, right? But Rich Homie Kwan didn't really lean too heavy on the violence, which was a pretty big contrast from, you know, Waka and OJ who had kind of came before him. You know, Rich Homie Kwan, while he was alive, you know, he used to say time and time again, I am from the ghetto, but I'm not gangster, right? I think we need to show Rich Homie Kwan a little bit more respect about, you know, the records he made and, you know, the route he chose to make them. That's kind of a common... um gripe I see people have with rap music today is we kind of went down the drill wave with all these different cities having a drill movement. And a lot of people are like, wow, rap used to be about girls and getting monies. And now it's about, you know, a lot of these topics. It's transitioning away from that. But, you know, that was a big complaint. A rich homie Kwan was somebody who kind of successfully did that 10, 10, 12 years ago, right? Another thing that I think a lot of people don't really bring up, and I think a lot of more people need to remember this, Rich Homie Kwan was a part of a very, very legendary dynasty, right? You got to remember Rich Gang with Young Thug, that was a part of that cash money dynasty, right? I mean, look at cash money. That's probably the most legendary hip hop label of all time, right? You go to the late 90s, right? You had the Hot Boys. Of course, you had Wayne, BG, uh, Hot Boy Turk, Manny Fresh, Juvenile, right? You had the Hot Boys. That broke up. Cash Money went through some, I guess, hard times. They spent it with some different artists. Currency was there at one point. Then eventually Wayne took off and they hit the Young Money era. You know, arguably the best one. You had Wayne, Drake, Tyga, Nicki Minaj. You know, that was the big four of that group, right? And they had a legendary run. But a lot of people forget by 2013, the Young Money thing was kind of done. You know, Tyga had left. Drake was focusing on OVO. Wayne was having his issues with Birdman. I guess Nikki was the only one really putting on, but it was a fraction of what it was a couple of years prior. And Rich Gang, um, Birdman, Young Thug, and Rich Homie Kwan, that was the next you know, iteration of the cash money era. They made a lot of hits. That was you know, the cash money of the mid-2010s. So a lot of people forget that, no, Rich Homie Kwan, when he was putting out hits, he had actually continued a very, very legendary dynasty in hip hop, right? And I think the last thing I want to look at is commercial success, right? Because Rich Homie Kwan did see quite a bit of it. Now, when you look back at his billboard entries, I think he only has like six or seven of them, which I think is criminally low. I think if you add a lot of the Rich Gang credits, it's probably more. 
And, you know, that is a decent amount of entries, you know, and that does account for some of his big songs. But people forget Rich Homie Kwan had a lot of big records on his own. You know, he had songs like uh, Type of Way, Flex, um, The Most. You know, he had a pretty big feature run. I'm kind of blanking off the top of my head, but I can think of My Hitter with YG was a very legendary song. Of course, uh, the Save That Money with Lil Dicky. Plenty more features. I'm blanking, but please go to Genius or his Wikipedia page to double check those records, right? He had a big wave, you know, once again, sites like Dat Piff and whatnot were still around. So I feel like that kind of like took away from some of his credit. But if you were around, you remember just how big Rich Homie Kwan was. You know, sometimes numbers are very important, but I feel like though looking at the entries or whatnot doesn't give you a clear idea of Rich Homie Kwan's run in the early 2010s. Man, those were just a couple things I kind of wanted to get off my chest and say. Uh, rest in peace, Rich Homie Kwan. It's been your boy DJT Stomp, and I'm out. Peace.